What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. You guessed it, we're opening two more of these Pokeball collections. The product has been very good to us so far, but we got 20 more shots at that shiny Charizard. Will today be the day we get that Zard? Let's get into it. Still the worst packaging <laughs> ever, in my opinion, or ever that I've ever had to deal with two code cards for you guys we got a huge stack of hidden fates these are these openings are so much fun <laughs> we have piplup to give us some luck we have our other shining charizard that we cheated for we picked up on the secondary market but it is time to pull our own here we go with our first pack kind of mix them all together so it's not so much of one box versus the other we're all on the same team here let's just get that zard Pack number one, Grass Energy, Charmeleon, Misty's Determination, Scyther, it's kind of sticky, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, ooh, Giovanni right off the bat, very nice, and then Nurse Joy as well. So starting things off with a bang. Uh, who was it? Um, was it Lord on Discord? Uh, got a like God pack of Giovanni and then the shiny Charizard. The only problem was it was on PTCGO. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, wish I got this in IRL. <laughs> that would be. Actually, maybe the only thing that would be better than that is the Rainbow Birds instead of the Giovanni, but like, that's like top, top 99% possible, possible pack combination. So congrats or sympathies? I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, pack number two, Psychic Energy, Nurse Joy again, Misty's Gym, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, a Clefairy, Clefay Bowl is our rare and a metal energy. Ooh, if you guys haven't seen, uh, we did do a opening and review of the Ultra Necrozma Battle Arena deck. It's actually a very good product. Uh, if you're not familiar with the product, definitely go check out that video. But they have, I think it's just like six reverse energies, but they're a little bit different. It just has a different foil pattern. It looks so much better. Definitely would prefer those over these ones. You know, this is very, I don't know, very plain reverse foil. Kind of, actually there is no pattern to it. It's just literally just a little foil on it. All right, we got a Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, and then a Mew, followed by Blaine's Last Stand. Oh, who was I facing? I think I was facing a sub. Apologies, I don't remember which sub it was playing PTCGO. And then they were playing a Gengar, uh, Mimikyu Gengar deck, and they played Blaine's Quiz Show, and I didn't even, I was still reading the card, and I ran out of time, and so I wasn't able to draw, ooh, wow, look at that card, super beat up. Luckily, that is not the rare slot, these are the two cards we really care about, so it's okay, but never like to see that. But anyway, I ran out of time, so I didn't get to guess. Although I probably would have got it right and you basically get to draw four cards, but luckily it turned out it was a bit of a trap. Oh no, it's not a trap, like basically it ends up being a draw four card supporter, which is pretty good. Because if I did guess and get it right, I would have drew more trainer cards and they would have did more damage to me. Raichu GX. Alright, alright. Ooh, but we have a shiny Riolu, definitely much better than the Raichu. The, for the, like the the tin the tin things I just take one more quick look at that very nice card Riolu is a good shiny like that gold color the Raichu the Gyarados you know they're the they do have alternate arts which is kind of cool but the cards just aren't that exciting unfortunately same thing for the Pinsir the Onyx the Starmie you know the if they weren't in this set. It would actually be... I feel like those are just like GX fodder in a way, you know? 
So ultimately, like, yes, they're hits, but all right, let's get let's get something from the SV, the shiny vault set. You know, something interesting that they did for this set is kind of like have two lists, which I'm. I did have like a decade plus hiatus from Pokemon TCG, but I'm willing to bet that's the first time they've done something like that where they have two different sets and Butterfree and Brock. All right, so far opening is going okay. Got like three hits. No shiny, no shiny GXs yet. People have been asking how are we doing on the collection. I think we have 21 different. GX shinies, and that's definitely where we are in the weakest department. Gold cards, we're actually doing pretty well. We did get one dupe in the gold card slot, but that's okay. And uh, actually, full art supporter, we're quite weak in. I feel like that pull rate, minus the Giovanni and the Rocket ones, like the pull rates for the supporters is super rare. And we got a Vaporeon for the set. All right, that's good. Or for the opening, we always, <laughs> not that we want them, but we always get one. And then another reverse energy. Here we go into the next pack. One thing I want to talk about is the these Pokeball collections is so popular. And I will say that the pull rates have been good. But I'm very surprised with how well they're doing. How much hype there is. It like kind of like, oh, it surpassed the ETBs to be honest. I feel like it really has. I feel like the ETB is still a better product though. Definitely the better promo. As, as cool as Zorark is, Metagross is pretty bad. Those Pokeballs, they're just okay. But, uh, you know, nowhere near uh, the stained glass birds. Jolteon, we got another evolution. Still need Leafeon. Ah, right, here's this is one of those uh, super, super air filled packs. This one's not terrible, but actually, a bunch of people were saying in the comments that yeah, they saw the same thing. And uh, if this didn't come, if I got that pack loose, I would be very suspicious. I probably wouldn't even open. I would just send it back. You know, it, would, it feels like tampered with. Koga, Brock, Misty, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, then a Butterfree. This is one of the most disappointing rares, I have to say. Another Reverse Energy. That's our third one for this opening. Hmm, I have to say, this, uh, so far we're not doing too great, you know? Not that we're not getting anything, but we need to pick up the pace. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel and you do enjoy the content, many ways to do so. You can hit the like button. If you're not already a sub, definitely would appreciate you subscribing. We are streaming on YouTube and Twitch pretty regularly. Not every day, but at least a couple times a week, a few times a week. Uh, we've been playing a lot of PTCGO. Uh, playing a lot of sub matches and really failing at learning how to play Mewtwo decks. I feel like there's just so much Mewtwo hate out there right now, but uh, we will be going into Sword and Shield hard once it does come out in mid November. So definitely look forward to that. All right, Giovanni, LT Surge, Ekans, Coughing, Paris. Cubone, Voltorb, Blaine. This card feels very thick. Blaine's Last Stand. Ooh, Shiny Pheromosa. Very nice. Ooh, do I have Pheromosa? I think I do. They're all like right behind me. Let me see if I can... Oh, I think this might be one we are missing still. So very nice. And in case you didn't know what I meant by that Shiny Vault thing, so... Actually, that's kind of confusing. I can't really read it. Uh, but yeah, this is out of, was that, 54? Compared to the 68. Yeah, 68. So I'm not aware of them doing that previously. Although, I mean, things are very confusing as it is for Pokemon. It's like, yeah, this is uh, 23 out of 120. Even though there's like 170 cards. Because there's like 50 secret rares now for every set. Although... Yeah, very lenient on what the, on the, uh, on the secret part these days. Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Mewtwo, very nice. This is one that I don't mind pulling. Obviously the Charizard as well. And another Vaporeon. Alright, we're good on our Vaporeon quota. I feel like the hit count 
is doing pretty good just not getting anything too crazy let's make some more space for our piles real quick just because we opened so many cards in these openings i will say that i personally like this idea of doing less openings but just bigger ones and uh if you if you prefer the uh more of the daily style let me know in the comments and if that's kind of like the overwhelming uh, majority then maybe we'll, we'll consider switching back and then kind of like the reverse if you are enjoying these let me know as well all right Brock's Jim Koga Tent Surge Caterpie Paris side up Charmander Magikarp Wiggly Tough and then a Sabrina suggestion Wiggly Tough very similar story we're good with them all right, let's see what's going on next month. Sword and Shield. I feel like um, I'm not feeling the hype. You know, I feel like I'm excited, uh, but you know, just like watching di different videos and stuff. I, maybe maybe in the next you know 30 days as it gets real close, I'll start to feel the excitement more uh, just from like the community and stuff. But I'm super excited. I'm not sure what start I want. I was talking about this on stream the other day. Um, probably try to figure out with someone, you know, we could do some trades and someone will restart a bunch of times just so we have all the starters. But all the starters, like, you know, none of them look too exciting to me. If you have one that you definitely are leaning towards, let me know which one and why because yeah, they all just look kind of weird. These days with so many generations, it's getting hard, you know, there's not that many more animals to kind of like imitate if that makes sense for example like ekans is a snake sorry pip up all right we got pikachu clefairy jigglypuff jolteon two vaporeons two jolteons and then oh riolu again riolu number two uh next for the next uh winner of the discord giveaway like if riolu isn't in the pool he is definitely in the pool now Speaking of Discord, if you are, guys have not joined the Discord, I definitely recommend you at least check it out, see if you do enjoy it. Um, obviously, like I said, we do do little giveaways as far as, all right, here's all my dupes. Come pick a couple winners, let me know which one you want, and I will shoot it over to you. Clefairy, Misty's Water Command. Okay. Our, finally, we have our first shiny GX in Altaria GX. I think we have this one already, so it I'm pretty sure it is a dupe, but that is okay. That's this is another good one. Both Swablu and Altaria both look really nice. One that we do have, but I wouldn't mind pulling a few more, is the Articuno GX, just because it is useful in the oh the super aggravating Pidgeotto control deck that I made a video yesterday about, or a couple days ago about just not a fun time facing that deck and a couple people kind of like oh that sounds fun to play I believe it but the 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 agony that I have facing it <laughs> I don't feel right doing that onto someone else so I feel like I'm definitely not going to play that deck, but beyond my frustration, I do concede that it's a very good deck. I can see it actually being very meta relevant. I believe it did pretty well on in Worlds and all that, all that jazz. I just despise it. All right, we have another air-filled pack. Does that mean it has good pulls? I think some of these look like they're a little dinged again. Alright, so this these boxes are not great, you know. Coughing, Ekans. I have no idea how many packs we've opened, but I'm wondering at what point it's like, oh man, how have we not pulled the Charizard yet? Pincer GX. I feel like someone on Discord said that it is one out of 333. But then they had 0.33, so I wasn't sure if that was a joke. 
like, uh, yeah, repeating, naturally. But out of 20 packs so far, you know, only one shiny GX and, you know, no gold, no full art supporters that are shiny vault supporters. Hmm. Koga, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, Kangaskhan, and Lieutenant Surge. Whew, we are already down to two more packs. All right, let's clutch up. Let's get something good in the end of this opening. Haven't been counting too closely. I'm not sure how our ratios are. Even if they are up to snuff, you know, the, the quality of these hits just is not there so far for today. All right, Pokemon Center Lady, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, Clefable. All right, and then we have, ah, oh, Misty's Gym. All right, guys, last pack, here we go. I like this pack art, that's a start. Touch the penguin for good luck. Here we go. All right. Water energy. Far fetched. Graveler. Chansey. Eevee. Caterpie. Paris. Ekans. Psyduck. Mew again. There's nothing special about this Mew, but I do like the art. For our last pack, as always, guys, thanks for watching. We have a Type Null Shiny. Okay, not bad for last pack magic. Let's see. We have a lot of cards to recap. We had that Type Null, Pinsir, Altaria GX, Riolu, Jigglypuff, or Wigglytuff, Mewtwo, Pheromosa, Energy, we'll put it off to the side. Energy, Raichu, Riolu, Energy again, and then Giovanni, and then lastly our two promos. So we'll put these two promos up here because they don't exactly count for pulls. So non energy pulls one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's exactly 10. <laughs> that 50% ratio holds up really well. Uh, not, the, not the best ones though. And we did get three energy, so we'll count that as one more hit. So positive ratio just not the oomph we are looking for um came up short again for that shiny charizard we'll try again in a few uh few days from now so stay tuned for that but as always guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe all down below i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time